So Rockstar doing something pretty weird with Grand Theft Auto 5, actually adding a mysterious DLC file to Grand Theft Auto Online, but it looks like they're doing this for a couple of their other games as well. We're going to talk about all of that in this video today. All right, so you guys know on the Steam database page for Grand Theft Auto 5, this is where we can track a couple of the different DLC branches. You can see here we have Nick Test Branch, which hasn't been updated for over a year. I don't really even know when this was added. I think it was when Rockstar did the drop zone update, like in January 2016. Don't quote me on that though. You have QA beta, which you can see is linked to the public branch. Their build IDs are the same. And that is when the Southern San Andreas Super Sport Series update came out. When a new DLC comes out, the public and QA beta, they match. And then you can see the two above that. Now, QA Beta 2, which was updated about 20 minutes ago when I'm making this video, that typically gets updated every day. If not every day, every other day, and it's typically for bug fixes and glitches and background script checks and stuff like that. It's just Rockstar tweaking the game, things that they can do. But what's weird is a new QA Beta branch that's been added. QA Beta 3, which oddly enough is the only one that has a description. Its description is QA Beta 3 though, and you can see, for, at least for me, it was updated around three or four hours ago. So this is very, very strange, and it has a lot of people wondering, including myself, what is QA Beta 3? If QA Beta is the branch we look at for Rockstar doing their main quality assurance testing on future updates, and that's the one that we really prioritize because when QA Beta gets updated, we know we're about two to four weeks away from a new DLC. QA Beta 2 is for bug fixes, but what is QA Beta 3 and why was it just recently updated? Now, on its own, this would be pretty strange. However, we also saw Rockstar do this to two other games that they've created. The first was LA Nuware. LA Nuware also got the QA Beta 3 update. You can see here it says QA Beta 3, and it was updated around three hours ago for me as well. So that's pretty strange. LA Nuware and Grand Theft Auto 5 and GTA Online really share nothing in terms of similarities, other than they were both made by Rockstar. Um, they're kind of open world games, but that's sort of it. Now, it keeps going because there's another game that Rockstar made, Max Payne 3. Max Payne 3 also got this QA Beta 3 uh, branch, except theirs didn't have a description. It was just QA Beta 3, and it was updated around the same time ago, uh, four hours ago. So really the only connection that you can make between all three of these games is that they were developed and published by Rockstar Games and Rockstar Studios. So there doesn't seem to be any other connection between these games. Max Payne 3, obviously pretty old. Same with Ellen Aware. It hasn't been in development for a while now. Grand Theft Auto 5 G Online is really the only one that's consistently getting new updates. So what does this mean and what is going on here? Is this related to a future Grand Theft Auto Online update? Is this related to some change that's going to be happening in all PC versions of Rockstar games? Now, the only person I've really seen talk about this was Spider Vice. He said this on Twitter. He said, Rockstar is back to updating Eleanor non-VR QA Beta 3 and added a new internal launch option referring to an executable called playlan.exe, which does not exist in the original Eleanor game. So I guess this confirms an update pretty much. And that's referring to LA Nowhere. That isn't anything to do with GTA 5. So that's pretty interesting. It almost seems as if all the Rockstar titles here are getting an update. Now, there's two possibilities I think this could be. Number one, I think it could be for a potentially enhanced slash remastered version of LA Nowhere. That's like the only one I could see. Number two, I could see VR coming to Max Payne 3 potentially even GTA 5. I think that's the biggest stretch of this whole thing here. But what I think is the most logical thing, number three, is it's probably a new Rockstar Games launcher. So I don't know how many of you guys play on PC. Um, a lot of my games I play uh, from Steam. But some companies like Blizzard and Ubisoft, they have like their own launchers for their games. Like you have to open up this specific uh, launcher for Ubisoft games or, you know, Blizzard games or whatever the case is. And it kind of seems as if Rockstar might be doing this because what they've done is updated all the versions of their games that are, occur on PC. However, there seem to be a couple missing and not only the ones that aren't on PC, like Red Dead Redemption isn't there, but you would expect that because there's no PC version. But where's Grand Theft Auto 4? You know, where's other games that are also available 
on PC. So I'm really not too sure what Rockstar's plans are here. Honestly, I really hope it isn't a new launcher, uh, mainly because I'm just such a big fan of Steam. Like all my games are there and I just click and I, I get to play. I don't like having to manage a bunch of different launchers for a bunch of different companies. So although Rockstar are probably gonna go down that route, we've seen them do this a couple times in the past with them updating their launchers, updating their websites, etc. I really wish this was for something more interesting, like something we might actually get to experience and something we might actually get to see in game. However, I guess the one positive you can say here is that really no one knows what QA Beta 3 is. So this could potentially be good news for Grand Theft Auto 5 GTA Online. Now, at the end of the day, this still really isn't the important QA Beta. The important QA beta is the one without any numbers behind it. And when that's updated, we know something really soon is gonna be coming to Grand Theft Auto Online. And when that does, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated uh, so that you can really start to get prepared and obviously expect new intel from Rockstar. But for now, they're messing around with a really weird and mysterious DLC file and no one really knows what the heck they're doing. So if you guys have any idea on what you think they're doing, or if you have some more insight on what the QA Beta 3 could mean for not only GTA 5, but the other games, let us know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on and enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.